I wasn't gonna run tonight um, because uh, what's today Tuesday so I've been training uh, legs for two days now with uh, clients all day and mostly legs some hit sessions uh, but mostly because I did a race this past weekend and it was a mud run race and um, I've done these races before but this race was sheer I was in a state of sheer terror the entire time because it was a zombie mud race and the obstacles weren't hard at all but it was the fact that somebody was coming after you at every corner and they were hiding and they were jumping out so for somebody who has mild anxiety and deals with it on a daily basis oh there's a hair on the phone i thought it was on my face what is happening i didn't know you could zoom in on snapchat no i'm not gonna have any time left to tell my story so continuing from where I left off, um, running in sheer terror through like uneven ground and around fences and up rocks and like this was the most unstable ground terrain um, that I've ever run in as far as mud races go and I've done three of them. I've done a mud moselle, I've done another one for breast cancer, I forget what it was, oh m mud girl. And then I did a Rugged Maniac, which is is just below a Tough Mudder. And that one was hard. Um, but the terrain was like, was crazy at this campsite for this mud, for this zombie mud run. And sheer terror the entire time. Oh, now I lost my connection. Okay, so the lighting is not as good up here, but apparently I can't get cell signal anywhere in my house except my main level, so. Um, so anyways, this race was, I was in, I was in a state of panic the entire time. I don't like being chased and, um, I'm like a highly competitive person. Um, so I was determined to keep at least one of the flags by the end of the race. Um, the way the rules were, were you got three flags at the start. If you, um, ended up with at least one flag at the end of the race, then you got a survivor medal. If you lost all of your flags, then you got an infected medal, but it really didn't matter. I honestly don't know why it mattered to me. Like we had a team and um, I was just like hell bent and like I, I was clotheslining and punching zombies and pushing little kids out of the way. Like I was a maniac. It wasn't because I was trying to be, it was just my instinct um, because I was like, okay. I'm having trouble with this lighting. Stand by. All units. <clears throat> okay, so as I was, after I realized that I was, that I've hit, that I had hit anybody, of course I feel bad. So I'm, as I'm running away, I'm screaming, I'm sorry over my shoulder to the people that I've whacked. Anyways, this is a very long winded story to tell you that I got on the treadmill tonight thinking that I was going to be really sore from that. I think it was about an hour that we were running, um, thinking that I was going to be really sore from that run just because of the uneven terrain. I've got a previous um, Achilles and calf uh, tear in my left leg that has bothered me for the past five years. Um, actually, since 2018, it has not bothered me. So it took four years of waking up and being in discomfort and that tendon being really stiff every day. So four years of that. Um, for the first year, I was in uh, I was in a, ca a fiberglass cast for the first month. Uh, I did it playing soccer, um, and then I was in a air cast, an air boot, or whatever you call it, for four months. Um, because what happened was um, just quickly, it was a partial tear, so it was a nine millimeter by four millimeter tear at the insertion to the heel bone. So, and then with that, I had the tears in the calf muscle as well. So I never wanted to um, participate in any kind of runs or any kind of, you know, 5K runs or anything like that. And that's on even ground. Um, and then I have a friend, Lise, um, who introduced me to these mud runs last year. And I was hesitant at first because of the uneven terrain and thinking, well, here I go again, I'm gonna injure my ankle. Um, but they're so much fun and um, I'm so grateful to her for introducing me to these because I, I would have never, I wouldn't have done one. I would have, I would have most likely done a run with her or with, you know, I would have done a 5k run, but I don't think I'd be doing the mud runs yet. So I'm glad I kind of dove head first into those. Um, but 
anybody who has an injury out there, and I know everybody's injury is different, um, but having a soft tissue injury, sometimes those take the longest, depends, but um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I went through extensive rehab um, with my, what the hell, with um, my physiotherapist, and um, so I went for physio for a good two years, and then I kept mobile, um, and kept w up with my functional training and that includes that's functional training is exactly what it says it is. It's it, you're training for functionality. So, um, so I was using, uh, stability training, uh, resistance training, weights, same thing. Um, and then I introduced, uh, uh, plyo once I had a good handle on, once I felt like it, it was a good amount of time after the actual tear and I was feeling some strength um, overall in my leg. Um, so for anyone who's injured out there, anybody who's had like a major tear or a major injury, um, and I know everyone's different and I know every injury is different, but keeping that, um, that mobility and making sure that you're, um, consistent with your re rehabilitation process as far as, you know, either going to somebody or keeping mobility in, in the injured area yourself through your, through self training. If you're educated enough to do it yourself, um, it makes so much difference. Um, I'm pain free now and I'm doing so long story short, I'm pain free now. My, my ankle's not stiff anymore. When I get up in the morning, I don't have to wear certain shoes. Well, I do when I run, but um, I'm pain free now. It took it was it took diligence. It took me, you know, going to rehab, going to physiotherapy, and then keeping it mobile on my own and training in certain ways to strengthen, you know, those stabilizer, those sleep stabilizer tissues, stabilizer muscle groups around the ankle, strengthening the tendons, not just the muscles, strengthening the joint as a whole. And this is all part of functional training. Um, so, anyways. There is light at the end of the tunnel if you've got an injury, and I know everybody's body's different, every injury's different. Um, be diligent, time will help, and just keep at it.